Now, if you're anything like me, cutting um, PVC piping nice and square and neat so that the fittings fit on nicely has been a bit of a challenge until I came across this method of doing it, which I'm going to describe to you now. You're going to need a, an angle grinder, a small one, a 115 or 125, one that you can hold with one hand. And the disc I'm using is a multi-disc. It cuts all sort of things, and it's about uh, 1.2 millimeters thick. So it's a good cutting disc. Um, then you'll also need the usual safety equipment. But the, the main ingredient is a cable tie. Um, now what I do is I measure first <coughs> the length that I want. Let's say it's 8, mark it. Now slip your cable tie on. I've already re preset this one, but you need to set it so that it's tight on the pipe, but it can still slide along. Slide it up to your line, and then just move it slightly, just to make sure you're in the right place. And then with a clear marking pen, just mark along the edge of it. And also set your pipe on, I use a portable workbench. Uh, with the jaws set just the distance so they're not gripping the pipe so the pipe can rotate. Uh, you could also use saw horses and clamps and things like that to get the same effect. Now with cutting, now I recommend you use the guard. I'm just, I've just taken the guard off the angle grinder because uh, it's easier to see for the video. Um, and for that reason I'm using a long cuff glove just to give me some protection. Okay, now I'm going to just describe to you what I'm going to do before I switch this on, otherwise you won't be able to hear me. Um, what we do is we hold the angle grinder vertical. We start a cut, go through the full thickness of the wall, and then we rotate. The, the angle grinder spinning this way, rotate in the opposite direction, then it cuts more efficiently. And try not to get to any wobble in your thing. Just adjust the jaws so that it's nice and neat there. Okay, so I'm going to start the angle grinder now. can see that's a nice neat square cut and I just finish it off with a file just get rid of any rough edges and I also just put a slight bevel on it so that it slips into the fitting easily and there we go that's it and it works for any uh, size pipe Here's a 50 mil. You can do the same thing with it. Right, starting an angle grinder. Here we go, minimal fuss, and again, just smooth off the end and bevel it so that the pipes fit well. So that's it. Very simple, very quick, can get through a lot of cutting and very accurately. If you found this video useful, please like and share it and uh, subscribe to this channel because there will be some more uh, DIY videos coming. Thank you for watching.